Good morning and welcome to Behind the Gap with Jason. Today we will be talking to me <laughs> because I had a guest last minute cancel, Larry and Bethea, uh out in uh, North Carolina. Uh, was going to join me today and had a photo shoot for the, her one room challenge come up, uh, 15 different products. So she had to do that today and so we couldn't uh, avoid that. But thank you for joining us here on Behind the Gap with Jason. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Casey Auction Company did a second quarter review and I look forward to the third quarter as we're almost at that point. We've had a lot going on and a lot coming up. So let's get right into it. If you have any questions, ask that you post them below. We're always interested in hearing what you have to, you know, questions about. Uh, also love to hear where you're talking, watching us from. And uh, if you just have comments to add to the conversation, love to hear that too. So post comments, questions, or thoughts below. And, and again, tell us where you're watching from. So let the scroll here real quick, <clears throat> excuse me, allergies have been crazy here in Kansas City. So in the second quarter, so far, we have had uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different auctions. Um, the Symphony of the Fin Hills Art Auction that closed this week. We did a jewelry auction that closed this week. We recently sold the Paul Messner Puppet Collection from his retirement. Uh, the Kansas City Symphony Secret Art Auction, which was brand new for us this year. Uh, another art auction. And then we also did a consignment auction there. Uh, so six auctions. We had amazing response to those. We had over 258,000 lot views combined. So that's, uh, what, 66, uh, 70, 40, 45,000 views per lot, something like that. Um, and uh, thank you all for, for checking out the auctions uh, when we have them come up. We had some great – the Paul Messer collection was awesome. Those puppets went around the country. Uh, such a neat opportunity to sell that. Of course, the same thing, the Flint Hills Art Auction that we do every year with them is always a, a highlight of our calendar, and, and we love to see what's going on, uh, to see the, the, the comments, the, 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 the art, and everything else that's coming up there. Uh, had some great, great pieces this year, and that auction did really, really well. The symphony is very pleased. Uh, the, the, the Kansas City Symphony Secret Art Auction was really interesting. Uh, we had pictures about this size, really, and please excuse my scribbles, five by eights, roughly, that they were given to artists. They didn't sign the front. They just put their information on the back. So you're bidding exclusively on the quality of the work and what it did to you and spoke to you. Uh, and they were so happy with the results that we're going to do that again. Um, and I think that's going to happen in the fall, so we're excited about that. Uh, and then we did some other arts auctions that were really fun as well. Uh, probably the biggest news from the second quarter is our old building, 1070 Washington. Uh, those of you in Kansas City have probably been to that building or seen it. It's uh, been featured prominently on our Facebook page for years. Um, we enjoyed being there, but since we bought our new building over on the west side, east side of town, um, it just doesn't make sense to keep two. And so we decided it is time to sell sell the, uh, the the old building. Let me get that shown real again. It's a beautiful Victorian house, uh, 1877, two-story, 3,600 square feet, uh, just a spectacular property. Uh, if you're interested in finding out more about that, please reach out to us, and I'll put you in contact with our broker, and uh, he'll be happy to, uh, to, to do that. You can always just... Send us an email at info at kcauctioncompany.com to find out more information about that property. Um, we're looking forward to whoever goes there next. It's uh, such a historic place and just a beautiful setting, very, very stately. And people love coming there. A couple of other things in the second quarter. Uh, William, our oldest son, my oldest son, uh, is back from college. He's working for us part-time again, which is he's done for the last several years. He's also working uh, with Dennis Howell, uh, Dennis Howell Estates. Uh, in fact, he's working at an estate sale today. That uh, Gwen, the Makerista, the thrifting of Makerista, uh, posted Will in a, one of her story highlights over to Instagram. So make sure that you, uh, if you don't follow her, check her out. If you follow us on Instagram, I uh, shared her story on our Instagram stories. Uh, Instagram is a great way to keep up. I post more pictures there uh, more regularly uh, because the algorithms. We post a lot of stories. I do a lot of stories on Instagram that, that don't that, that is not seen anywhere else. Um, we also added Kelsey Gillespie, Kelsey, yeah, Kelsey Gillespie is our sort of working for us here, and we're excited that she is with us. 
Uh, she has a really interesting past. She lived in Germany for a while. She speaks a couple of languages fluently as a sweet little four-year-old son and uh, lives up here in Liberty now. But she started working for us about two months ago and has really fit well, fit right into our, our, our corporate structure here. Uh, loves working with the, uh, the fun stuff that we do, the different projects we do. And is really allowing us to, to expand the business and do some things that we may not be able to get to otherwise. Um, if you are following us on Instagram, you saw pictures of my library, which I haven't seen some of those books in over 20 years. Uh, and that's one of the things that we've been able to do is get that kind of work done with extra hands on deck. So excited about that. Um, so what's coming up for us here real soon? We have a lot of really fun auctions. Right now, the DST Corporate Art Auction line is online. We haven't even promoted it yet. Uh, there's some uh, some editing to do. But if you uh, go to that, in fact, let me post that link here just because I can. Yeah, here we go. I'll post this in the comments. The uh, That's not what I want. I'll go there and hit the comments. So, yeah, the DST Art Auction is really a, a great, great collection Um Mainly Kansas City and regional art. Anthony Goode, who is the grandson, or is the grandson of Thomas Hart Benton, paints in his style. There's a spectacular mural-type painting of the of downtown Kansas City. There's a beautiful Lisa Grossman, another uh, a Wilbur Nywald painting of Kansas City, uh, Philomene Bennett, uh, and many, many other local artists that you will know and recognize. And a lot of good-sized oils, not, uh, you know, a lot of corporate room-sized pieces. So not much smaller than 24 by 30. So there's uh, some good quality pieces, pieces you don't see in the secondary market very often and with phenomenal provenance. They bought from all the local galleries uh, and directly from artists. So if you like Kansas City and regional art, you have to check out that auction. Excuse me. Uh, it's really, really wonderful. We also have a baseball card and memorabilia auction coming up. Uh, the collector was from Minnesota originally, was a huge Twins fan, uh, and baseball history, they, we, they were the Washington Senators behind before that. So he has cards in his collection like the Harmon Killebrew rookie card from 55 and Rod Carew's rookie from 67 and Rod Carew's second card from 68 uh, and Terry Puckett's rookie card. Most of these cards are in you know excellent mint to near mint condition and some even better. Uh, I believe he has every team set for the Twins going back to their inception and then individual cards beyond that. He also has things for some reason – uh, Tom Seaver second year card. There's a lot of uh, Whitey Fords and, and things like that. There's also memorabilia. There's World Series uh, media pins, and there are things like that in that collection, and autographs. Um, went to a lot of the shows in the East Coast, got autographs in person, but also bought, this is probably one of the most interesting things. We just sold a piece like this for the Kansas City A's back in the 50s, but this is for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Um, and you can see there's uh, Jackie Robinson, uh, Duke Snyder, Pee Wee Reese, Carl Ferrillo, um, Chuck Connor, who's also the uh, highwayman, uh, all kinds of great Roy Campanella, uh, some just spectacular names, just a really exciting, exciting, exciting uh, piece right here. Carl Erskine, Andy Popko, um, you know, that's that's a piece that you're just not going to have an opportunity to buy again. So make sure that. Uh, if you like baseball or know people who do, let them know about this. We also have another quilt auction coming up, the second part of a collection we sold recently. Uh, spectacular quality and condition. These were made by her grandmother back in the 50s and 60s. She made them. They got put on the bed once, then put in pillowcases for the last 60 years. They look brand new, but they were made 50 or 60 years ago. Incredible collection uh, that we're excited about. We also have coming up soon uh, another consignment art auction, a consignment auction, decorative arts that we sell a lot of. And those of you in the area, uh, follow us, know that we sell a lot of, uh, do a couple of consignment auctions a year. We already have a museum has uh, consigned a bunch of DSS pieces. Uh, there's uh, 50 paintings and prints from them and some incredible Asian ceramics from them, including this dragon charger. Um, which is wonderful on the front, the five dragons, but I've never seen one like this on the back with the dragons in the mark area. Um, just a, a spectacular piece. 
really excited to, to do some more research on that and find out what we can. Um, but just one of the most incredible pieces of Chinese ceramics we've ever seen. Uh, and also in that auction is a collection or the decor from Andy Newcomb. Now, if you're in Kansas City, you might recognize that name. Uh, but if not, his house that we're selling the contents of was featured in all of these magazines, Midwest Living, Family Circle, uh, Flea Market, Spaces, and in this big hardcover book, Undecorate. And that's just one view of his house, uh, a mix of modern and antique and uh, distressed and French and garden. Huge collection of ironstone, French chairs. The Nelson lamp stays with the house. Uh, but busts, all kinds of fun stuff. So we're really excited about that. Uh, working for the Albrecht, we're working with the Albrecht Kemper Museum of Art again. We have their pot of gold auction coming up here in about two months uh, online. But we're also doing the auction in person up in St. Joe. Uh, more information about that will be coming. And I think that's about it. It's been a crazy couple of months here at the Casey Auction Company. An exciting couple of months for sure. So if you have any questions for us, you know, we do this the show every week behind the gavel with Jason. We, uh, we'd love to come to you next week. Uh, we will have Arian Bethay during the week, but next Friday we'll be going up to Minnesota for a family wedding. Uh, but you can always reach us at info at kcauctioncompany.com. Uh, if you have questions about the show, about selling with us, buying from us, you can always give us a call at 816-283-3633. And, of course, our website is kcauctioncompany.com. Uh, we're always excited to talk to people, help you buy and sell those antiques and collectibles that you love. And look forward to coming back to you every week. Again, let us know if you have any questions. Otherwise, have a great weekend. Hopefully, it's not ridiculously hot where you're at. Uh, it, it is here in Kansas City. It's uh, 102 to 105 today, I think. So have a great day. Have a great weekend. And we'll talk to you guys next week.